Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets live streaming tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to view chat from your streams, either on like Twitch or YouTube, Facebook, something like that, while you're in a game and only have one monitor. So if you don't have a separate monitor where you can see the chat for the, your stream, I'll show you a way to have it overlaid in your game for free. And to accomplish this, we're going to be using some free software from a company called Restream. Restream is a very popular company that allows people to stream to multiple platforms at the same time. So if you've ever seen anybody stream to Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook at the same time, they're probably using Restream. Now they do have a paid version, but we'll be using the free version and you can actually live stream to multiple platforms using the free version as well. If you decide to upgrade, check the description because if you use my link down there, you'll get $10 off your first month. All right, so to get started, the first thing you need to do is simply go to restream.io and sign up for an account. Check the description because I'll have the link down there as well as a detailed write-up in case you get lost. Once you get into your Restream account, you'll need to add what they call channels. So channels are the different live streaming platforms you're gonna stream to. If you're just streaming Twitch or YouTube, you just need to connect your Restream account with those individual streaming services and make sure that it's enabled. So as an example, I just removed Twitch and we'll go through the steps of enabling it again. So I'm gonna go to add channel. Then I'll find Twitch in the huge list of streaming services they have available. And then I'll go to connect Twitch. You might be asked to log in, but basically you have to give Restream access to your channel so it can not only live stream it, but also view and control the chat. So we're gonna do authorize. And then it will bring us back to the destinations page in Restream. So now what I need to do in the left sidebar is find chat, select that. And then as you can see, I can open it up in the browser, but if I wanna have the overlay where I can view it in my game, go to download for Windows. Save the file, and then just open it up and start installing it. So now that I have it installed, you can see it right here. And kind of the cool thing here, if you're multi-streaming to different platforms, you'll see all of the chats for all the different live streaming services in this one area. So if I go to my Twitch channel and say something, you'll see that show up in the Restream chat software right there. Now what we need to do is configure this chat box to work while we're in a game. So go down, select settings, and then go to appearance. Once the appearance settings open up, the first thing I'm gonna do is just resize the chat window so that it's not too big, and it just allows me to view the chat while I'm in game without blocking too much of the game. And I'm gonna position it where I want it in the game as well. So now what we need to do, they do have a compact version which makes the chat a little bit smaller. So if that's what you want, you could do that. Then you can decide if you wanna show the view counter where it'll show how many people are viewing your streams. It also shows their avatars as well and colorizes their name. So I'm gonna remove that and make it a little bit easier to, to see it. You could change the scale of the text, make it a little bigger, smaller, go with 80. Then scroll down. One of the most important ones is going to be to always have the window on top because then it'll allow it to show it over the game. With the background opacity, I recommend turning this down so you can actually see through the window and just see the chat. This will allow you to see more of your game and the chat box won't get in the way. You can also turn this down for the messages as well. Might make them a little bit harder to see, but you'll be able to see more of your game. So it's really up to your preference. So I have the background opacity to zero and then the message opacity to 55. Click through mode allows you to hold a button on your keyboard and then you can actually chat back. I'm not gonna do that because the game that I'm using doesn't support that. So that's really up to your preference. Now we have the appearance set up correctly. We have the chat window always on top and we have it transparent so that we can still see our game. Now what I'm gonna do is close the settings and open up a game. And as you can see, I am now playing a game on my computer and I can still see the chat overlaid on the game. All right, so that's how you view your stream chat for Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and many other streaming services while you're in game with only one monitor. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more live streaming tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.